Hello ladies! Welcome back to Pink April Diary and if you're new here, I am Suchi and today I wanted to review these Levi's ribcage straight leg ankle jeans which have become extremely popular this year. I wanted to share my thoughts on whether these are actually good quality and also share some sizing references for you and if you stick to the end I'm also sharing the fit difference between the same size itself but different colors. Now this will also help you in figuring out what size to look for and what is the fit reference if you're shopping for these jeans. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to start with are my exact body measurements so you can compare yourself and see what sizes would actually fit you perfectly. I am 5 feet 6 inches tall and I roughly weigh around 155 pounds and maybe some days 158 pounds. My waist measurements are 30 inches and my hips are 38 inches which clearly shows you that I have a straight figure and it's really tough to find good jeans that flatter my body type. Moreover, I actually have a shorter torso which means that my legs are longer than the rest of my body and I also have a smaller waist which makes it really difficult to find good straight leg jeans as well as high-waisted ones. So when I actually find some good high-waisted jeans, they are usually way high-waisted. Typically in Levi's, I wear size 28, but I actually bought them in size 29 because I did not want them to squish my stomach area when I sit wearing them all day. Since I'm working from home, I sit for longer periods of the day, which can become really uncomfortable if the jeans are not relaxed. And that was the main reason to size up in these jeans. The length that I picked in all of these three jeans are is 27 because I wanted a bit of more of an ankle length compared to full length that looks more summery and also elongates my body in general. Depending on where you shop, which I will also get to in this video, you can get some good discount on these jeans, but the retail price for these Levi's ribcage jeans are $1.98. To me, this is actually a very reasonable price for a good quality jeans. If you really compare them with other brands like A. Goldie, Citizens of Humanity, Hudson jeans and so on, you can tell that these are really affordable versions. I personally find that Levi's are really good quality and really affordable jeans as well given the fact that they've been here for over probably 100 years. There are two things that I absolutely love about these jeans which actually led me to buy more of them. I like that these jeans are finished which means that they do not have a raw hem while raw hem gives you that perfect casual vibe i personally like jeans that are more elevated and sophisticated and a finished hem gives you that look and for this exact reason last year i was obsessed with slouchy jeans with pleated details on the front because they were giving me all of that sophistication and structure with relaxed relaxed style which i was actually looking for so when i saw that these jeans have a finished hem i instantly bought them because i was looking for straight leg jeans that would work for various different occasions like workwear or special occasions and not just for casual style i honestly think that the button fly design is the best denim innovation that has happened so far the button flies actually make the crotch part of the jeans look way more flattering compared to the zipped versions the ribcage straight leg ankle length jeans are not really straight legged and i absolutely love that they are actually a bit flared below the knee area and when you wear them they actually transform into that perfectly straight leg jeans. That's awesome, isn't it? This is why I think Levi's in general is a much more established brand in terms of denim design because they have enormous knowledge of how to make that perfect jeans. The ribcage style is actually pretty high-waisted for me so I'm actually glad that I bought them in size 29 instead of 28 because size 28 would have been a bit more restricted for me. I would have felt a little bit more 
uncomfortable in it while sitting and I would not have been able to tuck in a lot of my tops into them just because it is so fitted. Eventually, if the jeans feel too loose, if I, you know, if I lose some weight or something, then I can always get them altered. But it cannot go the other way around. The length of the jeans are also perfectly ankle length for me, so I did not need to alter them at all, which is amazing. And this also helps me to wear these jeans and they become really versatile for fall and winter as well where I can wear them with boots. With the butterfly design, my waist area looks more flattering and if you actually look at it from the front, it actually looks flatter than my other jeans that I've worn which has a zipper style. Though the flip side to it is that because of the ribcage design itself, I think I in general look more straight figured and it enhances that which kind of sucks. I feel like that would have been reduced or kind of like, you know, I would have had more hugged waist area if I would have gone with size 28. But anyways, I was going for more comfort and that is what I chose. The back part of the jeans are also very flattering. They don't hug my bottom as much and they are giving me that relaxed and sophisticated vibe that I was actually going for instead of more of a skinny jeans, a really fitted style. As I mentioned before, I have three shades in these jeans. The first one is called Mind Your Finish. It is in this chambray um, color and it actually has some fading around this area and also around your knee, thigh to knee area, which gives it more of a casual, really casual and laid back vibe. Now the second one that I have is called Bernal Love. That's an awesome name itself. It is actually the lightest blue jeans that I've ever seen, but this color is actually perfect for summer if you don't really enjoy um, white jeans and you prefer to have some kind of a shade in it, this would be that perfect alternative to white jeans. Now the last shade that I have is called Feeling KG Black. It is more of a charcoal to gray faded. You have some kind of a fading around here, around the crotch area, but it's mostly charcoal gray kind of a color. This is actually my um, date night jeans and I absolutely love wearing this for casual date night occasions. And both Burnout Love and the Feeling KG black shades are actually non-stretchable jeans but my first pair, Mind Your Own Finish, is actually stretchy which is awesome because I was looking for something with a variation as well. The Burnout Love for some reason also feels a little longer with the same 27 length maybe because it is also, again not so stretchy and that is why it just doesn't rise up compared to the stretchier version of the jeans but the biggest difference that I noticed between all of these three shades is that the darkest shade which is feeling KG black is actually the tightest for some reason even in the same 29 size. So if for you 29 or the size that you are picking is quite snuggly then I would recommend sizing up for the darker shades. It's actually also the other way around for the lighter shade. The Bernal Love is actually really loose for me. That made me to think, should I have actually sized down in that particular color instead of going for 29? I have been wearing my first pair for a few months now and I have to tell you, I'm absolutely obsessed. They have become my go-to jeans. I literally take it out every day to wear them. And so far, I haven't found any issues with the stretch or fading of these jeans. And I think that is the biggest reason that I bought more pair of the same style. I believe in if you find your perfect pair of jeans, go for more colors. <laughs> Honestly, we cannot go wrong with Levi's. They're an awesome brand. So out of 10, I'm gonna give them a seven to seven and a half, just because you have so many color variations and also length variations that are, that is really tough to find in other brands, which are even more expensive than Levi's. And if you snack them in a discount, you just got yourself a perfect deal on these fabulous sheets. Of course, Levi's is the best place to shop for these jeans because you will find all of the shades in all of the sizes that you need for these jeans. And with the Red Tab member program, you can also get discounts on them. I believe that they have some discounts that is actually happening as a promotion. So I've linked all of the jeans that are on discount currently in the description section below. You can also find some good deal in Macy's. My first pair was actually from Macy's and I actually got it in 
$68 I believe but currently they actually have a further discount and I have linked them below in the description box as well but if you really need them in a hurry and you cannot wait for the five to seven days business days shipping then I would recommend checking out Revolve as well as ShopBob. Both of these stores actually provide free two-day shipping, so you would get them right away. I hope this video was helpful for you in making a decision if you are thinking to buy one of these pairs. If you liked this video, please don't forget to click that like button to let me know. And if you enjoy style videos like these ones, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell icon so you get notified when a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!